So, looks like we're going to talk about the hobo today. There's going to be some background noise because we're in the vape shop at the new studio. We got uh, my buddy Swole over there. We got my buddy Thomas over there. Um, this thing's a piece of fucking shit. But uh, let's talk about that. So, here we go. <laughs> So the hobo you know this thing had a lot of fucking potential i mean this thing had a lot of potential gorgeous like 900 milliamp hour battery beautiful form factor nice looking 510 um but it is an absolute 100 percent monstrosity of a piece of shit this particular one has been sent back four times for repair so let's go over some of the things that are good about it one uses a beautiful piece of wood Probably a stabilized piece of burl here. Um, I, the cutouts are nice. The the uh, the engraving's nice and deep. The the, uh, the the idea that they went with in using this piece of metal on the back, um, I think it was a pretty good idea. But the problem is, is the the sides have, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this there. Let me see if I can get my focus going. The sides here have completely delaminated on both sides. Um, that's the first problem. Second problem is who the fuck uses a mechanical, uh, a mechanical adjustable 510? Yeah, it's pretty. It looks nice on the outside, but you know we live in an age that you know like take the the Mad Mod or take the Boss. You know all these things have really nice you know spring loaded 510s. There's no reason to use a uh, a mechanical mechanically adjusted 510. So, but you know that's that's forgivable. You know that that's something that definitely can be excused. Um, the number one problem is, for the fourth time, this fucker does not work. It is slap ass broke. Already gone in four times. So this time we're gonna let somebody who knows how to make mods fix it. Um, you know, again, like, and, and so we'll go, you know talking about the inside. On the inside of this thing, on the 510, it actually uses a 30 gauge wire for the positive wire. Uh, if you was to take a Mad Modder, if you was to take a Boss, if you was to take any number of them, the standard right now is about a 16 gauge wire. It is literally, the, 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 the wire used on the 510 connection is literally thinner um, than a human hair. Um, absolutely ridiculous. So what you had here was the potential for a gorgeous couple hours of vaping with 900 milliamp hour 3S. What you ended up with is, um, I think the idea was good but the execution is probably the worst I have ever seen. And uh, for those that paid 200 bucks for this thing, man, I'm sorry, guys. Total piece of shit. Stay away. Now, that's what I got. Shame JC West. See you again next time.